Hello and welcome to a new series in Europa Universalis 4 with me, the Green Dragon. So, we are playing as Brandenburg. We are here in the north of the Holy Roman Empire. We are surrounded by tinier states, which we can work with, but we also have Poland pretty much nearby. We have the Teutonic Order, we have Bohemia, and we have Denmark, which may easily turn into the oh-so-dangerous Empire of Scandinavia, more or less, with the annexation of these two unions with Norway and Sweden, since the Kalmar Union is strong and intact at this time in history. So, right now our first goal should be to make alliances and after that we want to start expanding. We have a royal marriage with Mantra which is worth exactly zilch, but we may as well ally them because they are nearby. Missions. Save the Saxon people in Newmark. Possibly. Possibly. We may ally Poland against the Teutons. Yeah, Poland will make for a good strong starting alliance. And we shall also ally, yay, Bohemia. And that should be an appropriate number of alliances for a start, I think. Two strong allies will go a long, long ways. I haven't decided exactly what to call this uh, thing, this series. Imperial ambitions or German ambitions? Well, we're always building empires, right? So, I don't know. I certainly want to form Prussia and possibly Germany. Either or. So, it's... kind of a thing, right? Admin Tech is 10, owns Ostprussen, own either Hinterpommern or Danzig, and is Protestant or Reformed. So it's doable. Perfectly doable. Improve our prestige. Prestige can be improved, sure. So, as you can see, we have a limited tax base of, well, yay this. Namely, we make 2.6 a month and we spend 1.6. That is not that good. We also can't maintain a really big army. We are, all in all, a weak nation. So, first thing we want to do after forming our initial alliances is we want to expand. We want to grow our power, and we can only maintain eight troops, so... But we're part of the Holy Roman Empire, so we can attack Holy Roman states with virtually no p fear of... Uh, punishment, so we shall start fabricating on Warpermen, with the intention of vassalizing Pomerania, which will give us money, and after we annex them, an exit to the Baltic, so that we can actually patrol the Lubeckian node, which we intend to be masters of, eventually. Of course, in order to truly master the Lubeckian node, Denmark must fall. Sjaland and Skan must be taken to take over the sound tall, the sound with its tolling thing. Because essentially, all the trade which passes to these narrow straits, Denmark taxes. And we want to take over those territories so that those taxes come our way. And yes, Bohemia, I'm willing to marry you. I have a feeling soon, very quickly in fact, you will turn on me and decide that I need to die in a fire, but until that happens, we can be friends. And I'm aiming to have... I'm thinking, well, 11 regiments will do, I suppose. But we want to be able to completely overwhelm Pomerania's army before their allies can interfere. So, yay Pomerania, they have 5 Tau troops. 5 Tau is not that bad, we can work with that. And then there's Danzig with these bloody Teutons, and they have a Corvus of ours, which we could go after, try to retake. Wow, that guy is horrible, but he's better than nothing, so we'll take him. We're over the our force limit, unfortunately, but we'll just have to take that and go with that, because, well, fun fact, we need those troops. And yes, we're gonna go into depth until we actually, you know, 
take some of their stuff, as in vassalize them. Unfortunate that, but can't be helped. There we go. Now Austria is emperor, and that is going to be a thing. But I am an elector, so I can challenge them for that. So actually, let us start working on that because we do want to become the emperor possibly certainly we would like to knock Austria out of it if we could so let's just improve relations with yeah mains because well frankly we can afford relatively easily him and Poland both don't have heirs oh and you're in fact into our inner interregnum huh you von Hohenzollern. Oh, we have the same dynasty. So, wait, I could theoretically claim their throne right now, right? I could. That would piss them off to no end, though. And that would be a bad thing. It's they're smaller than me, right? Sorry, they, I'm smaller than them, which is why it will be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to actually, you know, take them and we would go into debt so bloody fast if we went to war with Pomerania but I feel like we kind of have to to be honest so let's get up our maintenance we have a huge army for a nation this tiny they have a lot of crappy allies essentially couple province miners as in single province miners and um, that's fine they can have that it's okay they're also unfortunately building armies and my agent was apparently discovered which is bad that will lead to unpleasantness diplomatically oh well it's not much I can do about that just waiting recovering my morale making sure I'm ready when the claim comes through and then we'll go and eat their faces Hungary, Livonians and Mecklenburg so you know nothing serious right just a fuck ton of trouble. Okay, so that's another month. That brings us almost to full when I declare I should be more or less full. So I just started raising this just in time. And yes, this can actually important thing. Ooh. I'll take you two points of shock, one more than that guy had. That sounds good. I like that. And the claim is almost done. Another two of those. And Merry Christmas! Merry freaking Christmas. As long as I take the capital, I'll be able to make them mine. Which is kind of the plan here. And I'm just gonna keep my whole army on this. Yes, you're free to attack into me if you want. My allies should come through, theoretically they did join. Yep. And yep, they did. We're under attack. Bohemians should arrive in time to help, I hope. 26th. Oh, jeez, I'm getting shredded. Come on! F okay, good. Thank you. You came through. I shall remember this forever. Even as I conquer your empire and watch your cities burn, I shall remember this. Fool! Thou has destroyed yourself by helping me conquer. Okay, and they are happily smashing things for me. You wonderful, stupid bastards. It brings a tear to my eye to see them do so, so very well. Oh, you sweet bastards. And they still both have succession problems. I'm tempted to claim it. You know what? Fuck it. Oh, and I could attack them for it. I'm not going to. Lose prestige and legitimacy or... Yeah, let's uh, up our legitimacy. We don't want that bullshit. They're gonna hate us. They're gonna... They're gonna hate us. So hard, but... 
must have more prestige than they do. Yes, unfortunately. But now I'm gonna improve relations with them too. So yeah, that did not allow me to actually inherit them. So I suppose I wasted that. Theoretically. At least I'll be able to get plenty of money from my allies conquering these tiny states. And yeah, the plan here is to just vassalize Pomerania. That's the plan. They claim the throne of another imperial subject. <gasps> Ooh, they get pissy about that too. Interesting, I didn't realize that. And so we'll have to move carefully here in the Empire until we're strong enough to afford everyone pi to piss everyone off. The Empire, I think the aggressive expansion works differently in the Empire, because, you know, if you get an aggressive expansion against one member, you'll get a lot of ex some pretty much against all of them. It point is, it is pretty universal, right? For members of the Empire. The Empire, for purposes of aggressive expansion, is whole sort of seen as one big blob, right? And not more as one big blob and less as a separate a set of separate nations. So, yeah, Poland and Bohemia. I would have to attack them. If if this kept going and if Poland was to help me, I could actually do this. What's your allies? Venice and me. I'm tempted to try, to be honest. And if I could get Bohemia into a union, right from the very start, that would be a huge win. There may not be a better opportunity. Yes, there may not be a better opportunity, but um, it may not happen. Right, it may not happen. Von Fittelsbach would get the throne. I don't like that. What about a... a Hohenzollern? Or however that is pronounced. I probably just mangled it horribly, but... Wait, a pretender rises? Why would a pretender rise? Why would that happen? And we're of the same house, I should get you in the Union. Unless, of course, you are too weak, or rather I'm too weak to make that happen. Okay, at this point, they should be willing to consider a... The point is, if I do get a Union, each... Uh, sorry, if I do occupy, if all their crap gets occupied, I should be the one that gets the opportunity to vassalize them, because I'm the one that got the capital. What madness is this, you fool? The fuck? They decided to attack. And I couldn't just leave, of course not, because that would be bullshit. Those fuckers. Listen, if you want to waste your own troops, you're free to do so, but do not drag me into it. You can go and fuck yourself. I'm not sitting there if you're gonna screw me like that. So, I could try to... Actually, yeah, let's go sit on top of that, see if we can get, say, Lundberg. Don't succeed yet? Okay, good. Will they leave off? Will they leave? Yes, they will, if it's on the... Don't attach, they will. Okay, good. Want to go there as well, same as there. No, don't attach, just leave. Good, good, good. Palsy trying to annex more than that one thing, but... Okay, so Lundberg is theoretically out. Let's recall our diplomat and see about... doing something about this. So, both of those are now... done. What if I fully annex you? I mean, Austria will get pissy, but if I can core you before... Oh, that was the wrong one. Well, Lundberg too, then. Yeah, let's annex both of these and try to... actually... core them before everything goes to total hell. As in, before we actually have ourselves an imperial meltdown happen in our face. 
Yes, you are coalitioning because you are a little bitch. Somehow, I think it's gonna be fine. Sit on top of that. Good. Worrisome, worrisome. Must gather enough strength to oppose this. They would not accept a vassalization agreement, unfortunately. But yeah, you're done, so who cares anyway, right? Let's head on over there, sit on top of it with our leader, because he does have one point of siege. And how are those cores? Yes, there's no hurry, is there? We have to wait another year and a half until the cores are finished anyway, don't we? Before we can truly, uh, you know, make this happen. Now, Bohemia, are we more likely to inherit you now? No. Unfortunately not. But that's fine, as long as... Did Bohemia peace out? No, they did not. Okay, Bohemia accepted peace with Pomerania. Sorry, yeah, Bohemia with Pomerania, so they're out of it. Now, and they have a rocky relationship with Ye. What the fuck are you doing, East Frisia? Okay, just detach and then go. Detach and then go. Because we do need to get this resieged. Not that it's gonna matter, but yeah. Worrisome, worrisome. We need to start patching up relations with some of our surrounding peoples, like the Teutons. Because we do intend to attack them. Eventually. Coalitions. People are slightly upset. Yes, yeah, see, the whole Holy Roman Empire is upset. France too a little bit, but... Very few of them are in an actual coalition. Most of them are just upset about me being a big meanie. So that will take some 30 years to get rid of. That sounds about right. Still, we are carving out an empire for ourselves, which is important. Okay, you are gonna be really, really mad at me, aren't you? Bohemia, yeah, we want them to stay happy with us, so we're not gonna be doing any more of that with them. Hansa has entered into a coalition, now that's worrisome. Still, Poland should be able to protect me. And Bohemia, of course. That's the thing. I have a couple of big brothers that will take care of me. Hopefully. Unless it all goes to hell, in which case we're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Have no manpower, that's fun too. Let's just sit in Brandenburg itself and replenish ever so slowly. Now, our ideas, I think I didn't check that out, but we get some army tradition, we have completed the Prussian ideas, we get 20 points of discipline. 20 points of discipline, now that is a lot. Infantry combat ability and extra morale as well. We can make hugely effective land armies, and that's what we're going to be aiming for. We shall be a legion of unstoppable, you know, soldiers, sweeping over the world. You're gonna build a Reich that will last a thousand years. Not that there's... <laughs> not that no... You know. Not that nobody's ever tried that before. Eh, we'll be fine. As long as we don't try to invade Russia, we'll be okay. <laughs> oh, God. This is so inappropriate. If you are offended, I apologize. If you're amused by this... <laughs> well, whatever. But yeah. We're definitely gonna build a Reich that lasts... Ooh... That's not so good. Austria is mad at us. Austria being mad at us is a bad thing. They're not so mad about my aggressive expansion, because they're my bros, but... Austria is certainly upset. Yes, I want to conquer the Holy Roman Empire. Possibly... well, conquer it, yeah, preferably. Rather than just take it peacefully and... All of my... Ooh, free stability point. Actually, if that's the case, I'm gonna get one and then get another one for free. There we go. Now, that's the thing. They can't demand, you know, unlawful territory while you are at war. And they can't punish you if you have a core on it either, right? So, we want to get a core on these before we finish the war. And this will just vassal annex and that will give us core on it immediately and that will be fine as well.
Tool give us the annex the member of the Holy Roman Empire debuff, but we can work it. Now I'm thinking about a Danish alliance to be honest. Because that would fix a lot of things and actually since I could set that up relatively easily, we're gonna royal marry them immediately and we're gonna get that alliance going because an alliance with Denmark will protect us even from the wrath of Austria possibly. Which is why we want to be their bros until we decide that they need to die in a fire, at which point we stop being their bros and we just kill them. But for now, for now Denmark. Denmark and all of Scandinavia will be our strong meat shield. Oh, Bohemia, oh Bohemia. Between me and Ansbach, a succession war you shouldn't have. 332 leader, no money for advisors. Well, kind of do actually at this point, since we took these, and that I assume improved my trade situation, right? Ever so slightly. Yeah, a little bit. These had some trade power in them. As yeah, that's like a what, like a 67% increase in our trade power in the node. That would be noticeable. Noticeable indeed. And once these are caught, we'll even get taxes from them, and it will be glorious. And that is eight tax base as opposed to uh, twelve, eighteen. 18 I already have, and I took another 8, so that's, again, almost 50% more taxes once it's done, and production too. So, it adds up, we have a quite a bit of good things, we have salt, and cloth, and metal, and salt, yeah. Both of those are salt provinces, but that's fine. And here, I assume, it's generally just, oh, it's not fish, it's naval supplies, but we got an estuary, which will help a great deal. So after this war, we should probably play it calm, maneuver our alliances, see where that takes us, and try to play that off to our advantage. Right? And of course, peacefully work on Pomerania. Don't have call for peace yet, so before we create a... before we make a bad situation worse, let's see about making some of these somewhat unhappy states a little happier. So who is dangerous and mad at me? Who is dangerous and mad at me? Well, generally they seem okay. It's... yeah, it's essentially Austria that's mad and the Teutons. So we're gonna keep proving relations with our allies and with the Teutons and just keep working it. Not gonna make the peace just yet. Not until we get those relations up a little bit with Austria, because I don't want them to be mad at me. Or until we get the call to peace and it gets bad-ish. I want to go up to, say, four points of war exhaustion. What? Why? Podebrad, the fuck? Who do you have the same dynasty as? How did this happen? What madness is this? We were supposed to get into a war. The frack? The frack was that? Why did we lose that? I mean, seriously. Okay, whatever, we could go and fight. Oh! And Bremen actually expanded. Well done, Bremen. All right, and we do need to complete the course before we annex anyway, so... There's that, too. So, Catholics, we get 4.8 tolerance of the true faith, which is kind of pretty good. It's... it's not bad, certainly. So... Right now, we are relatively safe, but we know that Muscovy is coming, that we have Lithuania and Poland here that could form strong nation. We must gather our strength so that the Holy Roman Empire and the German people are not overwhelmed by outside influences. I do not wish your territory, to be honest. You are still ever so slowly proceeding. Oh, and we're accepting Hanoverian. 
Good. Good. Pomeranian, sure, Saxon. Yeah, apparently we're Saxon. Right, we do not wish to pick any fights if we can avoid them. We have dynastic ties. Yes, so now my house will once again succeed to the throne once, you know. Me being in the war might have prevented me from getting that, actually. And you are still in the interregnum. And you have a right thing. Well, let's go and deal with the peasantry. Though perhaps we shouldn't. Okay, yeah, I want to get Austria out of their outraged attitude because if the Holy Roman Empire wants you dead, it kind of creates a bad working environment, f you know, for a tiny nation like ours. Actually, what's my force limit now? Huh, it's 10, and I have 11. It's actually fine. I did lose a lot of men there, unfortunately. Now the Teutons, the Teutons, the Teutons, they hit me slightly less now, that's fine. They are our next target, if possible. We'll want that core of ours, Newmark. And I'll also want to pick up Danzig. Because, you know, for the glory of the Empire, disputed successions. Burgundy has a disputed succession. They would not marry me, though. A noble from the house von Baden will succeed to the throne. King Charles I de Bourgogne. Okay. But you know what I really want. If I'm gonna fight, my next target should be the Hansa. Before they can expand, before they can do anything. What's my relations? 404, eh? Yeah. I'm gonna have to ditch Mantra as soon as our royal marriage with them breaks. Is there gonna be a problem state? Only 40, 14,000 men, though, on that, unfortunately. Now, Austria. They have not joined the coalition yet, but I want them to switch away from outraged. And, well, possibly I would want to even marry them. You know, before making peace here. Still no call for peace. Our war exhaustion is stable. So, we can chillax as is, right? It's hardly a big deal. Ah, and they've improved our relations with them, because they want them... they want me to vote for them, and I'm actually gonna vote for Austria, because this will make them happy. This will make them much happy. Now, let's piss off some more of the Holy Roman Empire, because vassalizing Pomerania, I mean, we're essentially the neighborhood's crazy axe murderer right now. We're acting insane with the kind of aggressive expansion we're doing. So, people are gonna be upset, highly so, but... Oh, we have a loan, let's repay it. Actually, have some money, let's see if we have any good guys. Oh, a Diplo rep guy, that is excellent, that will help. Great deal. And a decision, pastorally correct. Taxes for stability. I don't feel like taking it. I don't think I need to, and I don't think it's necessarily a good idea either. And let's improve that. So, ten years now, until we can take Pomerania as a rightful part of our domain, as they are obviously meant to be, and have been meant to from, yea, ancient times, even. Ooh, shit. 94 for Mecklenburg. They hate my guts, don't they? Well, it's certainly getting some elbow room here. Oh, these Third Reich references. <laughs> oh, yes. But yeah, we're gonna be the nasty people. The very nasty people. Not so much with the killing of Jews, because that's just fucked up, but we're definitely gonna expand and carve out an empire. That part we are gonna do. Ooh, Patriots and <laughs> Bremen. Oh, they worked so hard to take it and all. Aww. Magdeburg, Oldenburg and Gelray. They are in the coalition, though. Which is bad. What does the coalition look like? 
Let's take a look at the, through the diplomacy screen. It actually looks pretty scary. It's mostly one prime province miners. Ooh, more stability. But there's Hansa and the Teutons in there, and those two are pretty hard hitters, considering what our position is, right? They have enough force to <laughs> cause trouble. And so we're trying to improve certain relations and make certain people happy to avoid interesting things happening. Vienna is an important center of trade, but Stettin is an other estuary, so that's good too. Still, important center of trade. What I need is Hamburg. That's what I should take next. That should be my target, right? Hamburg. A major port. We could use an exit to the sea here. And all in all, it's, it makes for a really good thing. You know, something we could do. We could try to declare war on Munster and go and annex them. Take over Ireland if we had enough ships. Tempting as an idea, isn't it? But we need... You know, I can take the core with relatively little trouble. Hopefully Poland would call us into any war against the Teutons. I'm actually gonna set them as a rival to make sure that people know that we hate them. Also the Hansa. We hate the Hansa. Who else do we hate? I don't think I have any actual people I want to gear myself towards fighting. I already took out Pomerania right at the very start. And, you know, that's handled, so... Hardly worried about that. They are upset at me. They are upset. But 10 years, it will... 40 of that will burn off. And... I think it'll be fine. I can roll and marry them to make up for some of it. It'll be good. It'll be okay. Same dynasty as Ansbach. Okay. And here we have... He got an heir. Good for him. So, you are... Fine. How are those disputed successions? Fine, in fact. Well, that's okay, then. We'll work on getting some unions at some point, but... It's too early now. Still too early. Right? Oh... Wait, what? Austria does not... How is this the same dynasty? Ladislaus Postumus? Oh, is that a double name? Oh. Wait, I'm not getting it. I mean, it says that it's a regency for Ladislao. But... Uh, Let's see. Yeah, it uses its last name. They have different last names, but they're supposedly of the same dynasty as Austria. And how does that even work? They're not of the same dynasty, obviously. What madness is this? And no, this is most certainly not Sparta. Sparta is somewhere down here. Somewhere down here. So, no, it's most certainly not Sparta. And that's the Austrians. Sure, we've improved with them. Oh. Oh, and we got a new air, but... The fuck is this madness? Oh, and the Hansa is apparently fighting them. Oh, we'll let them handle it then, I think. Because apparently the Hansa is just walking through my territory if nothing, as if nothing was wrong. They do have claims on this. Not on this though, Bremen does. Okay, yeah, let's go and handle this now. They've been weakened. Please, before the month ticks, thank you. Let the Hansa handle most of it, so that we... It's simply a matter of managing my manpower, to minimize my losses and avoid depleting myself further, because I have to remember, this is the start of a new series I do not have a massive empire to work with. I do not have the might of the purple phoenix stretching across Europe and all the way to India. I have just these five piddly provinces. And I have to take that into account and manage my efforts accordingly, because I am working under some serious limitations here. Also, I will make Hansa happier, happier with me, hopefully get 
that done. As in fix the aggressive expansion. As in not the aggressive expansion so much as get them to be happier with me. So that's Mecklenburg. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of aggressive expansion because the Holy Roman Empire just seems to be that way. They're extremely resistant. I mean, they have a nasty tendency to really band together really quickly. Is there any other part of the world I could aim for? Once I have Pomerania, I can attack the Livonian Order. That could be a thing. And that could get me into war with the Teutons, actually. Without any consequences of the coalition variety. If I then was to call Poland into it, or Bohemia, or both, that would put me in a very good position to take Newmark, take Danzig, and take possibly something else as well. Oh shit, and now we're dead. I just improved relations with you, you dick, and you just run. Did my friends join? Oh, thank god, they did. We might be okay. Poland will save us. Flee! Flee, you fools! Flee! All the way to Breslau, yes. Hide the army, hide the army while we still have one. No, don't retreat into there! The Teutons are coming! Fuck! Straight into another battle. Stop! Just stop! Gods damn it. Okay, it looks like you're gonna get a real group in there, so... Oh. No, apparently we didn't retreat into there eventually, just not straight away. Okay, so... The important thing... Get to Danzig. And to Newmark. And don't attach to these armies. I want you to go and sweep the Hansa from my lands if you... No, keep these together. Yes. And no, keep attaching. It's fine. Let's build a mega stack and go and kill their forces if we can. Please. I'd much appreciate it. So, Sweden and Denmark are coming to help. That's good. So we're going to be safe against the Hansa. So, they declared war on me, and stupid as it is, I kind of feel like it would make a lot of sense for me to take something for them in order to punish them. At the very least, my own cores, right? So, that's that. This series will be going on every day, like the North World Conquest. At least I'll try to spread it out to have one video per day. So, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and, well... See you there.